Rounding numbers. When we round numbers, we make them simpler to use while keeping the value close to that of the original. Rounded numbers are often used in everyday life. For example, we might hear that the population of a city is 350,000. The actual number is probably slightly under or slightly over this. For most purposes, the exact population of the city probably doesn't really matter, and so the number is rounded. Rounding is also very useful when we need to make rough calculations. For example, working out approximately how much it will cost to buy food for a party. or calculating how much money will be spent buying Christmas presents for friends and family. Sometimes a rough calculation is enough. Now that we know what rounding is and why rounding is needed, let's look at how we round numbers. To round a number, it's important that we follow this rule. The numbers 1, 2, 3 and 4 round down, and the numbers 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9 round up. By following this rule every time a number is rounded, we can be confident that the value of the rounded numbers will be kept as close as possible to that of the original numbers. Let's put this into practice. Rounding to the nearest 10. Take the number 63. Because we're rounding to the nearest 10, we first of all find the 10s in our number. 63 is somewhere between 6 10s and 7 10s. To round it to the nearest 10, we need to decide if it's nearer to 6 tens or 7 tens. We can see from this diagram that 63 is closer to 6 tens. 60. 63 rounds down to 60. Let's try another. 38 rounded to the nearest 10. 38 is between 3 tens and 4 tens we can see that 38 is nearer to 4 tens. 38 rounds up to 40. Now let's try a larger number, 485. We'll still round it to the nearest 10. To do this, we find the tens. Here they are. This number is between 48 tens and 49 tens. In other words, 480 and 490. We can see that because of the five ones, this number rounds up to 49 tens. In other words, 490. If we remember that the numbers 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4 round down, and the numbers 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9 round up, we don't need this visual. Try rounding each of these numbers to the nearest 10. Here are the tens in each number. You'll need to decide whether each number will round down to stay at the same 10, or round up to the next 10. To work this out, look to the digit in the place value to the right, the 1s. Pause here while you work. Let's see how you went. 4 rounds down, so 44 rounds down to 40. 6 rounds up, so 86 rounds up to 90. 5 rounds up, so 125 rounds up to 130. 1 rounds down, so 431 rounds down to 430. 7 rounds up, so 4257 rounds up to 4260. Now let's look at rounding to the nearest 100, starting with this number, 561. To round to the nearest 100, we start by identifying the hundreds place. 561 is between 500s and 600s. To round it to the nearest hundred, we must decide whether it's nearer 500s or 600s. We can see from this visual that 561 is nearer to 600s. And even without it, we know that the digit in the place value over will guide us. We know that 6 rounds up. 561 rounds up to 600. Let's try another one together. 
4,349. This number is between 4,300s and 4,400s. In other words, it's between 4,300 and 4,400. We can see that the digit in the place value to the right is a 4. 4 rounds down. 4,349 rounds down to 4,300. Try rounding the following numbers to the nearest hundred by yourself. Remember to start by finding the hundreds place, and then looking to the digit to its right to decide if the number rounds up or down. Pause here while you work. How did you go? Here is the hundreds place in each number. Now to decide whether each number will round up or down, we must look to the digit in the place value to the right, the tens. 7 rounds up. 670 rounds up to 700. 1 rounds down. 310 rounds down to 300. 5 rounds up. 3,553 rounds up to 3,600. 1 rounds down. 1,718 rounds down to 1,700. Now let's look at rounding to the nearest thousand. Starting with this number, 7,346. To round to the nearest thousand, we start by identifying the thousands place. 7,346 is between 7,000s seven and 8,000s. To round it to the nearest thousand, we must decide whether it's nearer 7,000s or 8,000s. Again, the digit in the place value to the right, the hundreds in this case, will guide us. The 3 tells us we need to round down. This number rounds down to 7,000. Try rounding the following numbers to the nearest thousand by yourself. Pause here while you work. Here are the thousands in each number. Now to decide whether each number will round up or down, we must look to the digit in the place value to the right, the hundreds. 5 rounds up. 1,530 rounds up to 2,000. 2 rounds down. 2,294 rounds down to 2,000. 8 rounds up. 9,832 rounds up to 10,000. 4 rounds down. 32,493 rounds down to 32,000. Before we finish up, let's take a quick look at how we decide whether we should round to the nearest 10, the nearest 100, the nearest 1000, or even the nearest 10,000. Let's imagine we're trying to work out how many hamburgers were sold over 3 days. Here are the sales figures. Friday, 264. Saturday, 382. Sunday, 327. Here are the numbers rounded to the nearest 10. And here are the numbers rounded to the nearest hundred. It's easier to add up the numbers that have been rounded to the nearest hundred. The total is 1000. Adding up the numbers rounded to the nearest 10 is easier than adding up the exact numbers, but they're not quite as easy to work with as these numbers. So what is the advantage of rounding to the nearest 10? To answer that, let's look at the exact total, 973. We can see that rounding to the nearest 10 gives us a more accurate estimation than rounding to the nearest 100. And rounding to the nearest 100 is more accurate than rounding to the nearest 1000, which in turn is more accurate than rounding to the nearest 10,000, and so on. EasyTeaching.net